We are Bird's Tender Nest. We are Thomas, Nora, Eli, Robin, Elliot, and Floss. And Dorian. And Dorian. We are building a school from a retired school bus. My mom is taking the stickers off of the bus. took that sticker off really easily. Where the yellow is is obviously where the sticker was. Now I want to try. For the sake of the video, I want to try the um, this reflective part. It is a lot thicker than these stickers are. So I'll see what it happens. But chances are I'm gonna have to use the heat gun. And I'm sorry, one of my neighbors one of my neighbors is mowing their lawn right now. This is the season, right? So this works just fine on there. And check it out. That came off easy peasy. I think I'm going to be able to use this for the whole bus. And I'm super excited because I did not want to use that heat gun. This is not so hard to get off, but when I'm getting to this edge, this lip here, it's not wanting to come off. Honestly, I could probably just take it, I could probably just tear this off and not waste. Hmm. This is actually easy to get off. I might just not waste this eraser on this. Let me try something else. Remember this tool I said this came, this came with? I'm going to try the plastic. This is actually coming off really easily with just my fingers. Nah. I don't want to do that for this whole project. Just kidding. I'm just going to... Alright, so I just tried it on here. And it does come off. It would probably come off even easier with the heat gun. But again, it's going to leave that adhesive, hot stickiness. This is going to take way longer. I'm going to use the machine. Because my time is worth whatever. 
after we paid for this. <laughs> Let's try for a time lapse, huh? guys so something that is hard to control with these things though and that might make you have to buy a new one sooner is that it doesn't wear evenly or I don't know what I'm doing wrong to make it not wear evenly I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like It is like bouncing like crazy. That time it wasn't as bad as it was before, of course, because I'm recording and that's how it works. Uh, but now that I'm trying to, now that it is worn unevenly, it's a lot harder to do just because it's bouncing like crazy. If you can see, see how uneven it is, like how thin it is up here compared to down here. I don't know how to avoid that, but it really freaking sucks. I'm going to end this right here because this is not working out. Um, it's bouncing all around and it's just pointless to work with. So Eli is ordering me another set of both of them, maybe even two, so I can get through this whole thing. But I think I got quite a bit done. I got these... I got all of the lettering off on this side and a small amount of, a very small amount, like not even a foot, you can see it right here, of the reflect, reflecting stuff. I think I'm going to have him order several of these actually. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Monday. And we camped all weekend, so we didn't get anything done, really. I am back at it. It is time to remove the reflective tape on the side. And there's a couple other little stickers here and there. Doodads I'll remove on this side. And then I'll head on to the other side. Okay, this is how it's coming off. Just fine with the eraser piece but really I think I might just use this which will be boring for you guys to watch. While I'm doing this I'm feeling like I keep thinking about the build and what it's going to look like. Like I don't even know what color we're going to paint the exterior yet. I've been like so inspired by so many people posting on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube which if you guys don't follow us on any of the other platform. Bird's Tender Nest is on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter, but never use it because I'm too not into Twitter. I don't know. I don't get it. It's not exciting to me. But maybe that's because of my age. But we are on Instagram and we're on TikTok. And all of those are linked below. I am inspired by some of the different kind of ceilings. I don't really want it to be like the planks of wood like everybody does. It looks nice, but I mean, planks of wood on the ceiling, planks of wood on the floor feels repetitive to me. And that's not to say it doesn't look nice, it's just not what I want. So, 
Eli's gonna get... <laughs> I don't know how Eli's going to feel about it, but I have changed my mind on what I want this feeling to look like. Basically what Eli and I do, we have a, a pretty cool dynamic where I come up with ideas or find ideas or envision ideas and he brings it to life. That's what he did with the camper. That's what we do with our home. Of course he has ideas. Of course his ideas get used. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying um, a lot of the time I do a lot of the design stuff and he does a lot of the make it happen stuff. So, and sometimes he tells me things aren't going to work and then I get disappointed, but that's life. He keeps telling me the bed I want isn't going to work, but then I keep telling him it will. So we'll see which one of us is right on that. A police officer just pulled up and our tags are not uh, up to date because they expired in February and... Um, and all of the DMVs have been closed, but also you have to get like certain things in your bus before you can have it licensed as a uh, as an RV. So <laughs> he was asking me questions like, I was nervous that we were going to get in trouble because our plates weren't up to date, but he was actually said that he's thinking about building a schoolie and. Um, and that he had asked the school bus mechanics up at the school if they would help. So he, he let me know, like, hey, if you guys have any issues, the guys up at the bus garage might be willing to help you out. So that was awesome to find out. He was so nice. All the cops here are nice, but, you know, um, with the DMVs not being open and having that expired tag, we haven't been driving it. All we do is turn it on every once in a while in the driveway. Uh, but <laughs> that was a little bit nerve-wracking, but it all turned out fine, and he was really nice, and we might have another schoolie in our community. That would be really fun. Alright, you guys, I'm getting bored of pulling off stickers, because it's, like, all the way down the side, and, um, so I'm going to take a break from that, and I'm pulling out my power tool again. Because this is the only sticker that's left that I'm going to sand off. I tried to use the little piece on the scraper on this and it like really doesn't get under it. And it's like pretty much like that stripe. It's kind of just like really adhered to the, the bus. So I'm just going to, it only has like four numbers on it. It says 1595. So I guess that was the bus number. So here we It's easy, but this gun is heavy, so if you're a weakling like me, weakling like me. I wonder how my face looks. I see how my arm looks. Wear glasses, because the stickers flying into your face hurts. Done. I finished that whole side and now it's time to get the other side done and I am excited. And I started trying to work on the back of the bus because you see these pieces and I could easily get that done. And it is coming off like a dream probably because it's sitting in the sun or maybe it's just a thicker tape but you can see right there is where I stopped. But like this whole piece across the door came off in one fell swoop so I'm pretty thankful for that, and I'm getting a lot done, a lot more done than I thought I was going to. Just 
wanted to give you an update. Whoop. Oh, so close. This is the last piece of reflective tape, and the whole bus is done with this. I thought I could get it off in one strip and be all like braggy about it, but that's okay. Bam! Woo! Okay, I was a little nervous that was gonna be a two day job, but I got it all off today. Well, it was a two-day job because I worked on it like a week ago, but I'm super excited to say all the reflective tape is off. Um, I'm not going to finish today. But I do have to get this black, the stickers off that say the name of the school district um, that it came from, and that will be easy. Just a quick swipe through with the, um, maybe I will do that today. But, I got the whole passenger side done in, like, no time. There was one spot that was a pain in my tushy, but, oh yeah, buddy. Happy to say that that job is done. So, on to the next one. My next project for today is to remove the, the fabric that's on these seats and anything that's inside of it. I also want to remove the seat belts so that I can soak them and try to use them because one of the benefits of this project using the frames of these is that we have seat belts already and we don't have to purchase that. We are trying to reduce, reuse, recycle as much as possible. Do not. What you? We'll both go in the house. Don't take that new wire, Dad. Take the new wire. I know how the wire does. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, 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 Daddy.
One down, like seven more to go. All you really have to do is take these staples out, and really this whole thing just comes apart really easily. You think we should keep those? Uh -huh. Maybe you turn that into a, a seat or something. I don't know, like a top for a seat. Even if you wanted to use it actually for. Like some other project that you did, where you had to upholster a seat down. <laughs> All right, we're trying to decide if we're going to keep them or toss them. We have a problem. We always think we can use things for another project. Okay, so the first time I took the seat apart for that one, I cut into it and now I wish I didn't because we might reuse these seat backs or something. I'm not really sure what, but now that has a big tear through it. But now I know that all I really have to do is take these staples out and really this whole thing just comes apart really easily. So there's no need for that. I just sprayed. I just fried Eli's thing and he's like trying really hard not to be mad at me right now. I didn't know that could happen, but it's like fully smoking. Eli's mad. Go, run after him! <laughs> away from my project, away from the bus. you guys next time thanks so much for watching make sure that you like comment subscribe and ring the bell while you're at it also check us out on we are on pinterest we are on instagram and we are even on tiktok and facebook and all of them are under bird's tender nest all right guys we'll see you on our next adventure bye, bye.